Today, my friends, we have the wizard saw skill. And who's the wizard, you might ask? Well, that is Luka Modric. He has a baller skill that we are gonna break down for you so you can also become a wizard. Let's go. All right, my friends, we are talking about the Trivella. Of course, you have seen, unless you've been living under a rock, Modric has made this move famous. He is a master of this, and the reason is it's not just flashy, it's useful. He shoots with it. He gives through balls with it. The guy plays long passes with it. He crosses with it. He does everything, okay? This guy sleeps right next to his shoes in Travella mode, okay? And that's exactly what you want to do. And the reason you want to do this is because it's so useful. This is a skill that is going to take you a little while to master. Of course, once you do it though, it will change your game. It will change the way you see. Thing is, we stress technique, technique, technique. And Modric has amazing vision, but it doesn't matter if you see that guy running over there and then you just go Okay, nobody wants to give a pass by going What is that? Over here, over there, what is that? Okay, that's not the Travella, all right? What we want for you to do is when you give that pass, it's magical. Heavens, God rains down every time you do the Travella. And we'll give you that wizard sauce recipe in the next one. As we said, this is a skill that is gonna take you a little bit to master, but with these points right here, you can probably do it on your first day. Now, the first thing to do is how do you stand? You cannot approach a Trivella straight on. You won't get enough around your hip, around the ball in order to turn it. So the first thing to do is to know, just like a shot, keep the ball out at an angle. If it's right in front of you, you're not gonna be able to get the ball to spin. The next is where do you connect with the ball? And it's not where you shoot, it's not where you pass on the inside, it's just on the outside of your foot. All right, not so far that you slice it, that won't get you any power. You wanna be in between your toe and the side, the outside of your foot. Now, when you connect with the ball, it's very, very important that your hip, everything moves in order to do this. You'll notice that every time Modric swings this, whether it's a shot, a pass, or a cross, he swings the ball, it turns his hip completely, and on that follow through, which is the most important part, because you have to get the power and the follow through is where that happens. You swing and you follow through, guys, all right? It doesn't matter if you land on your kicking foot, that's fine, if it's a shot, if you're really trying to put all your, your energy behind it. What you really want is to get that hip out, swing, connect, firm. The best place to use this move is when you have an object to avoid, all right? You're, you're trying to bend the ball around a player or up and over. The same thing goes for a shot. When you're approaching the shot, wind your run a little bit. That'll make it easier for you to bend the ball into the corner, okay? So with that approach and with that style and understanding, guys, you've got to train, and that's what we've got next. Repetitions are key when you are learning a new skill. So for this right here, it doesn't even matter if you don't have a bunch of people and a bunch of balls, you can still train this. And the very first way to do that is either grab an object, you can bend the ball around a goal, grab a friend and try and bend the ball back and forth between you two. Try to be as accurate as possible. You'll mess up a whole bunch and it doesn't matter. When you're learning something new, you suck. You suck at first and that's okay because after repetition and repetition, you will get better. Of course, if you are at a training facility and there are mannequins or those dummy walls and you guys can have somebody or something there and grab 10 balls, don't shoot these from a standstill. The point of the Travella is the ball's moving, you're in the game. So maybe take a pass, all right? Or take a few dribbles and then hit it around the wall, all right? Then grab another ball, boom, do it again and again and again, all right? The point is, like we said, repetitions are key, and that's gonna give you the confidence, because once you realize that you can do it in training, you will automatically do it in the game when the situation arises, okay? Improving your vision is not just a matter of being able to see the field, it's also about you understanding that you have the ability, the technique, and the confidence to do it. And that, my friends, is what we just gave you. You're welcome. That, my friends, is the vid. You know what to do. Leave us a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out right down below in the description box for all the stuff we have for you at Unisport. And my friends, we will see you guys next time. Vidimose. That's Croatian for see you later.